How's it hanging fellas? I'm Orosh and this is another episode of gameplay and such and in today's episode we're playing Genshin Impact which is a game that I've been hearing a lot recently. A lot of people apparently been playing it. I even heard stories of how like some dude spent like millions of fucking... spent a lot of money in the game and also this game I first heard of it when I was like watching some video about like mobile games. And I heard of this, and I was like, okay, this looks pretty good. So I downloaded it on my phone and never played it, because I... Ch I don't even know why I fucking have games on my phone if I don't fucking ever play them, but whatever. And, um... Then I learned that this game's also on PS4, so it's a strange case when this is a... PS4 and mobile... Uh, game. And yeah, I heard it's pretty good, I heard a lot of people playing, so fuck it, let's agree. Let's, I guess, make my character. I don't know if this is gonna happen. Man, I fucking hate whenever games do that. Downloading resources. Like, the game shown as if it was already downloaded and now it's downloading some more stuff. Last thing I needed for the game to now fucking tell me that I don't got fucking space on my fucking console for this shit to download. Nice music, though. Cool loading screen, I like this, I like the shading in the background, it kinda seems like it's going for some kind of pastel looking thing. Doesn't it? I don't know. It reminds me of, uh... Fuck. What does that get? A Rhyme. Rhyme was a... Pretty cool game. Kinda had a similar art style to this. From what I've seen right now. So I think what you do in the game is you, like, get your own party, you, like, uh go around the world, do some side missions and shit. Kinda reminded me of Onigiri when I first seen it. And uh, another game that I played on PC but I forgot what it was called. Elf's World, I think? I've done a gameplay and such on it, I just... Wait, have I done it? Yeah, I did. I just don't remember what the fuck it was called. Anyway, let's start the game. Who knows, maybe I'll play this on my fucking phone. Probably not, though. I ain't playing anything on my phone. Also, we got like 20 minutes. I got like fucking 20 minutes to record this shit, because I'm kind of... I don't know, I'm busy recently. So, what you're trying to say is that you fell here? From another world? But what is this user ID in the corner? On to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Another thing this uh, game I heard a lot of things about is that it's a Chinese game. Your journey ends here. And also people were like, oh look, China didn't just the rip off some video games. They made some original ones. Of I just, yeah, I mean, now. they make a lot of fucking video games. You ever heard of fucking Crossfire? Actually, I don't think that's a Japanese thing though. But did you ever heard of Crossfire? Apparently the most fucking popular for the first shooter. Oh no, no, no. Uh, Did you ever heard of it? Well... I mean, I did, but like... I did one like uh, on one, inf on one uh, E3, I don't remember which one was it. I guess not the last one, because there was no E3. And um... They, they had a trailer for like a new Crossfire game, it looked pretty fucking cool. I felt like I'd play that, but... I guess I didn't, so select a twin, I guess I select my gender, do I want to be a girl or I want to be a boy? I'm gonna be a boy. My name is... No, wait, check it out. I'm gonna pick the girl. Frank. Her name's Frank. Well, I don't get to customize my fucking hair. <laughs> This shit sucks. Maybe later I get to customize my fucking character. I sure do love generic fucking orchestra music like that. With these fucking mumble whatever people singing and shit. So my brother got turned into a cube. That go. sucks dick. Does the user ID does anything? Should like I be that. concerned about my user ID being in the corner? The god took away my brother. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. 
the waltz we used to cross world after world. We are now trapped here. I lost my brother in the last game I played yesterday was Vampire, and in that game I lost my sister. So that's kind of interesting with these fucking siblings dying and everything. I beat an Uncharted 2 yesterday for like the 10th fucking time or something. And you know what, it's just, just as fucking great as it was when I first played it. Even though when I first played I was impressed by literally everything in the game. Now I was like, oh, okay. That's, I remember that. That's pretty cool. How many years ago was it? I don't know. It but was I intend to find out. Like one After minute I ago. Woke, I was all alone. Right up until I met you two months ago. Two months yeah, ago? Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. Paimon? Who the fuck is Paimon? We should head this also looks like Let's a YS. I do have YS 8 or 7? Fuck, I don't remember. I, I used to play a lot of uh, YS Tales of Silcera on my PS Vita when I still played games on my PS Vita. Alright, what the fuck do we have here? What is this? Frank? So this is like a jump, an attack, a dash. This, uh. Why is my sword flying? Okay, this is my equipment. Items? Uh, hold on. Weapons, artifacts, heart development items, food, materials, quests, precious items. Uh, this is like they fucking made up some bullshit how my sword is all magical so it's flying around me. Just so they wanted to have to fucking put the model correctly on my back. I got a feeling that's the fucking case. What is this for? I do get to customize her. Do I? Well, I... No. Well, I only got one fucking character. Elements? I can choose one? Well, I only... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Alright. I'm gonna choose... <sighs> Ice. I like ice. Alright, can I like fucking dress her up? No. I can't. I gotta do some quests first. Ah, oh, shit. Let's run around here. I give it, I give the game that. It looks kind of interesting. I mean, it looks kind of nice. I can totally see why some people play this a lot. I, I, I done a lot of gameplays and such on like free online fucking multiplayer games and shit and I feel like every single one of them I kind of fucking hate it. I just hate games when like I walk into a fucking town and just like full of fucking NPCs running it left and right. And you know, not NPCs but those are like real player. And they're fucking pissing me off. It just makes it so like... Like everybody's fucking on their way to do some bullshit and I'm just like... Here, standing, wondering, what the fuck should I do? I'm alright, a slime, I threw him into the lake. What is this Dragon Quest shit? Another game that reminds me of Dragon Quest. Eleven. Which I played the whole game. But funny story, I got so pissed off at the final boss that I just fucking deleted the game. Alright, it's a teleporter. Open the world map, so like an... an Unlock teleporter waypoint to teleport that location. I imagine I don't have any other ones, or do I? Open the map. Okay, is that the whole map? I bet there's more location than just this one. So can I use this? Hello? Maybe I can't. Was this a crab? I guess I just gotta go on the map, which I don't like how it doesn't have the layout of the land on it for some reason. Maybe I have to unlock it, like by finding a map or something like that. It seems to tell me to go this way. Guess we'll just have to climb. Climbing depletes stamina, and depleted stamina takes time to recover. How do I climb, you stupid okay, fairy bitch? I just walk towards. We're off to a statue of the seven. 
Which of the seven are you looking for exactly? Shit, I don't know. Press to navigate, follow the path. Bird's eye view. Wait, that's the quest's name, right? I don't know. Bird's eye view, whatever. I'm running around here as if there's like some secrets to find, but I don't know if they fucking have secrets to find. Check it out, I collected a flower. Some little flowers over here. Do you also have that thing in video games when you play video games? I can swim, okay? Let's see if there's something behind the waterfall. Do you got that thing in, I could have caught a fish, in video games that you like collect materials as you go through the game? And then what ends up happening later in the game, I guess there's nothing behind the waterfall, shit. And then what ends up happening, and it's like at the end of the game you're like tasked to get some like... Like I had that in Witcher 3, where at one quest they wanted me to make some like potion. And I had like all the fucking rare ingredients in my equipment, but I didn't have the like very common ones that the potion required. I don't know if it fucking does something, but I'm gonna collect all the fruits. It's a food item, I guess it restores health. I got a feeling that's what it does. It'd be kinda cool if like I could engage in some oh, I fucking kill that thing. Oh, I could like engage wow. in some battle. So far the only thing I found was like a slime. And I'd like to, you know, get as much fucking thing out of this game as I possibly can at the very beginning. Unless there's literally nothing to do at the beginning. Well there's a local hub world. Scattered across the land to show the seven's protection over the world. I do appreciate this voice Among acting. Among the seven gods, this god controls the wind. Now uh, who's this bitch god that Paimon's took my brother? Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first, and there's the reason why. Who the fuck is Paimon? Is she the, is she Paimon? Does she refer to herself in first person? Language flow like the wind. Sure. Come to Paimon. I guess she really is Paimon. Where is she though? She? I don't know. It could be like there'll a little definitely fairy. Be someone there who knows about your brother. At least fairy that's boy that just sounds like a girl. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it! A raccoon? Oh, you're stuck, you little raccoon. Yeah. Oh, you're fucking dead. Oh, I fucking killed it and I took its meat. I see a chest. Up on the hill. And since apparently I can just climb whatever I want by walking towards it, I'm gonna do it. Climbing depletes stamina, but doesn't seem like it depletes much stamina. Now why did it like throw all the items around? What if there was like a pit next to it? Fucking lose my shit. So fire enhancement or okay. You so can swim right over. So like fucking. Now check it out. I got a. I think I'm fucking doing it the wrong way. Weapons. What the fuck? I have another weapon. Don't I have another weapon? Oh shit. Maybe I don't have like a slot for another weapon. Alright, whatever. I'm just not gonna fucking. Stand here, try to figure out what way I put the fucking bow. I wonder if there's more shit around here to find. Well, I'll give him the game that. It so far hasn't pissed me off. 
It looks pretty good. Looks pretty cool, looks pretty fun. Not the kind of game I would spend like all my money in, but sure, I also wonder if there's money to be spent in this game. Does this game lures you in with this, how nice it looks so far, and then it just becomes a grind fest. If you wanna do a quest, but the quest is like 10 levels higher than you, and you go X fucking grind experience and farm items. Oh, there, that's it. There we go. Now I can fucking... Hey, let, you know, let's get to the fucking town and then we're gonna like end the episode. Ooh, did you just feel the elements of the world? Sure did. It seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal. And I apparently was here for a couple of months now and it seems like everything's still new to me. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. Okay. This can't be good. It's a bit rude to say that about the power the gods just gave you. For shut the fuck up. If we keep heading west from here, we'll I don't eventually give a shit about reach no Mondstadt, gods. the I don't city believe of freedom. Gods. Mondstadt is the city of wind God, because Jesus they Christ. worship the god of animal. So perhaps because you got power the god from the of god anime? of animal, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one clues of them is heard a funny news of word, your isn't it? You say it like a lot of times in the road, it's like clues, clues, clues. Let's move then. Blue's clues. Oh look, a stroke. The elements stork. in this world responded stroke. to your prayers, and Paimon thinks Wanna that's a stroke. lovely sign. There's a wagon. An overthrown wagon. What is this, Witcher? Oh shit! This was even easier than the last one. What? Oh, it wants me to do something. What do you mean wind? Wind? I ex I fucking picked cryo. All oh, the fuck up I missed. How did I miss? Stupid bitch. I'm out of here. Unleashed an elemental burst. Well, that was These are the animal powers you pretty good. The of the seven. Oh, Paimon's so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting powers? So she does refer to herself in fourth person. I thought she was like going talking about someone else. This whole fucking time. Alright, so I got the magic spell. R2 does like a, like a fireball thing. Triangle makes it like an uh, area of effect attack, you know, when you like attack all around you. And why do I use fire spells? I thought I fucking picked ice. Maybe they didn't fucking. Maybe they didn't accept it that I changed my fucking element like early in the game. They were like, nope, you gotta use fire, bitch. Oh, look, a chest. Oh, that's a common chest. What's that? Oh, shit. Yeah, who is that? Fuck, I don't know. There's Looks like a bird. Huge in the sky. Where? I don't see it's it. It's heading towards the heart of the forest. We must proceed with caution. We must proceed with... Whatever. Oh, these guys look friendly. Yeah. I thought I'd fucking introduce myself, but I guess they don't know. It's funny if, like, standing in my own fire would, like, do damage to me. Also, is there, like, a block button I can do? Okay. Obtaining energy, combat knowledge, absorb. Elemental orbs and elemental particles to replenish energy, dealing elemental damage, defeating enemies, or performing other actions, but also in the... whatever. Generate some shit. Oh yeah, I'm burning. Okay, cool. It shows you on the bottom what effects you have currently on you. Ah, I pick up some items. I wonder, wonder, wonder... Oh shit, there's like a lot of these fucking guys. I thought it was just like a one little apples. Just one little camp I found, but there's like a whole village of those fucking motherfuckers. Yeah. 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 Okay.
Okay, probably not. I want to see it. I want to kind of like take a peek. It just reminds me of Dragon Quest. I remember there was like a area that took. No way, fuck. That's another game that this reminds me of. Nino Kuni 2. That's the game I was thinking of, not Dragon Quest. I mean, Dragon Quest 2 a little bit, but. Nino Kuni is the game I was thinking of. Yeah, this looks a lot like it. Oh, there's like one dude in it. Yeah. Oh wait, there's like more people than that. And he uses elemental damage, I might get the fuck out of here. Maybe I could pull this off and kill them, but nah, I don't care. Hope they don't chase me too much. I do like how this game does... There's more of them there. How this game does, you know... Gotta fucking check the timer. Yeah, I still got a little bit of time. Maybe we'll manage to get to the fucking town I was talking about. How this game does combat? It's not like you go into a separate fighting screen, which I don't mind, like in Dragon Quest and stuff. Final Fantasy X, but... I don't know, I prefer a fucking real-time huh? combat. Like YS. Yes. YS had real-time combat and it was great. I fucking love Tales of Silsera, even though I didn't finish it. I remember there was a very particular time in my life Don't when I was like worry. sick as fuck, I didn't went to school, and I just spent all my fucking day sitting in bed, feeling awful, dragon? and playing Dragon... No, I was playing YS Tales of Solterra, that was great. The game was great, I loved it. That's a dragon? It's like six fucking wings. The guy just appeared. Am I gonna have to fight a dragon now? I don't think so. That was close. Paimon almost got blown away. Paimon almost shit myself. Luckily, oh no. Paimon managed to grab hold of your hair. Thanks. Good thing he didn't pull my hair out. Just what <laughs> was that? Paimon thought we were gonna get eaten. Yeah, me too. I hoped you were fucking gonna mm. get eaten. It definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. You're kind of a bitch already calling him a fucking weirdo. You bitch. Can't believe the dragons exist in this world. It's not gonna drag us normal? Of course not. Should we be oh, concerned about that? What's that? Maybe he's a dragon. There's some dog. kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Cool. Let's go take a closer look. Let's eat it. Be careful. I'm eat it. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. I'm eating it. I don't give a shit about what you think. Eat. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before. I'm gonna put so it on my ass. Can't tell what it is. Wait, my character had voice acting in the beginning and now it doesn't. All Paimon knows well, is at that least it's dangerous. Paimon has fucking Best voice acting. I guess I can now. say my own lines. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. We stole some magic shit. Now we're going to a fucking town or whatever. I got thousand hundred more or whatever the fuck that is. Might be currency, I don't know. Hey you! Stop huh? right there! Who's this? Some bitch. Well, Gonna kill May you, the I guess. animal god protect you, stranger. Animal god. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. I told you I don't believe in God. You yeah, fuck you. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. I don't look like the citizens. What did they look like? Well, we're not looking I for Look like any fantasy generic bunch of bullshit thrown on top of each other. I fucking hate these kind of fantasy. Design. Look at the, all the kind of fancy bullshit I have on like each fucking part of my body. Like, come on, it's not even fucking. It doesn't even look like fucking good. That's what all the troublemakers Stupid. say. Hi, I'm Frank. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. What Frank? And what are you this talking about? mascot. What's the deal with it? That's, I don't know. Emergency food. Hey, that's even worse than being a mascot. I don't know, I, I called it a little flying bitch. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? I, I guess. Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. 
Best oh, you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. You'll escort me? Oh, I want to aren't you go out my here own, for some other reason? bitch. I am, Leave me but alone. not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Uh, that's fucking rude, you stupid bitch. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. Yeah, you fucking... Oh, you're a knight? I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That's better. That sounded so fake! Do you have something against the type I wanna of be referred to as a master, of sir, and also big cock. At the ready. Hever. Yeah, that's it. What's that? Flying balloon? I got an amber as a companion. Check it out. I can play as amber now. Oh, she has a bow. <gasps> well, it works. Like I, oh, I gotta shoot it. That's cool. So, suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? She got separated from her brother during a really, really long journey. It's kind of funny that. Paimon is her travel Actually, buddy, helping her to find her brother. Actually, Anino Kuni, you did the same thing where you like oh, swapped between for characters. Oh, looking family? Huh. Uh, so is that how it works in combat? Like you swap okay, between characters instead of just like. First, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. Like for example, you shoot what a flying enemy with her, then you first. switch to my fucking Frank character, then you fucking kill them with a, a sword. Bit. I'm gonna play a square for now. Damn it, I just wanted to get to the city. I thought it would be faster than that. So the squirrel here. Oh, I missed. I guess they want me to do something else. There's like a thing over there, I guess that's what they want me to fucking interact with. It's another magical bullshit. Uh, that's a teleporter. Quick, get it! Well, I gotta shoot innocent creatures now? Well, I don't wanna fucking shoot that guy. Can we fucking stop playing this game? Fuck, I gotta shoot this guy. These monsters have been getting too close to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. Okay. Haven't I done something similar? I don't want to clear up any camps. Is it the camp we've seen before? Elemental stuff. What's that about? So I guess if I shoot them in the head, I get more points. You know what? I don't want to fucking fight more monsters. I feel like I'm just going to finish the episode here. It's as good as any spot in this place. So see you fellas in the next episode. Bye.